Avon chocolate just tastes so good. the right size it's actually a bit fat fat trees are good yeah I like that one as well which one the dark green one Every light works. Sure is know that. Hello, Leah. Nice. Amy, I feel you. I'm deeply offended. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I've been offended by my own sister. I can't reach out there. Maybe the angel going out there, don't they? Uh, not the top, top one, the second top, top one. The second top, top one. It's where I'm going. I can't. Don't get it help. Don't get it help. No, I'll get a chair to help me, it's fine. Hey! Hey! Does that satisfy you? Yes, it is satisfied me. Good. <laughs>
Basically, if you didn't already know, I'm ill. It's like tradition for me to always be ill, December time, Christmas time. But anyway, Christmas cards. This year I wanted to do something really different. I wanted to do like old fashioned kind of, well they're not cards. Basically, I'll try and explain this the best way I can. I have 20 sheets of like parchment paper or paper that's been treated to look old. And then I've also got slightly tinted, coloured, like the yellow kind of envelopes, like really old fashioned envelopes. So the idea is I'm going to write my Christmas greeting message to my friends on the paper, but it's not quite the right size to fit the envelope. And when I've fitted it, I'll put it in the envelope. And this is the really exciting bit. I have, let's hope this focuses, a wax seal. It has an S on the bottom. And this wax is really special. So I could technically use candles, but it wouldn't have the same effect. So this dries quite quickly, and basically I just melt it on, and then I stamp with my stamp. And then it seals it and looks really nice! Wait, did I forget the... oh no. Yeah, and when I write the cards, I'm going to be using... It's a fountain pen, and originally I would have been using a dip pen with actually an ink pump... an ink can't speak, an ink pot, and I dip it in, write, dip, write, dip, write, um, but I don't have one of them at home, and I'm not going to do it at school, because it'd spoil the surprise, because obviously this is quite different. And to be fair, I don't know how this is going to turn out, and I'm going to have to do this over several nights, mostly because I want it to look really nice. It's either I do it properly, or I don't do it at all. So I'm going to pencil out everything for all 20 people I'm writing to, and then I'll probably start inking, or I'll ink the next night. And then when it comes to sealing, I'm probably going to have to call for reinforcements. Because last time I did this, I nearly set my friend's present and her card on fire. Because this technically does catch fire for a bit when you initially light it, so... <sighs> this, is a, this is a dangerous thing. Why did I choose to do this? We have some good news. I don't have to change the card at all. It fits almost perfectly. When I originally measured it up, it wasn't going to fit. But it just does. And oh, that's so satisfying. Because if you see this paper, it's really, really nice. It's got a really treated, like, old battered edge. And I really don't want to cut it down, because then I have to figure out how I'm going to, you know, change the next edge. But... Oh, that's some good news. Save me some time. Thank you. <laughs> it would also probably help if I had the list of who I'm writing to. I'm not very well organised. I have just enough. Okay, so this is the bit where it goes horribly wrong because I need to use fire.
Okay, one week later, I finally finish the cards. That took longer than it should have done, but they're done now and I can't wait to give them out. I honestly, I want them to really like them. <laughs> I hope they do. Avant chocolate just tastes so good. Today is actually Christmas Eve, and besides catching up on my advent calendar, I've just spent today editing Vlogmas and packing because I'm flying out to Northern Ireland to visit some of my family over there. So, and Christmas, normally my grandparents come over on Christmas Day, and we like obviously exchange gifts, eat food, but we're kind of downsizing this year, and it's just gonna be my nuclear family little bit of a celebration and then we're getting on a plane. But I'm going to leave Vlogmas here because I have so much to do and there probably won't be that much to film tomorrow other than just eating food, so. So have a great Christmas, bye!